Press the right dot? Hmm. Okay. So, this is how we're going to make our very cheap crawfish traps. Start off, you get these at the dollar store. These are one dollar each. And I have six of them. And six of them makes two traps. Okay, so we've got the six baskets, 650 total. And then some yarn that I had, this is like a dollar, you can get it for a dollar, a couple dollars. And then you need a pair of snips. Okay, so we're gonna do a little work and I'm gonna show you what's going on here and then uh, I'll get back to you. So push, push the button. Uh, yarn. Okay. Um, so the second part, what I did here is I took one of the baskets and you just cut a couple with the snips. You get yourself started and then you take your snips and you just snip around the outer ring all the way around like that till you get this and then the same procedure you do on the bottom you snip it off okay keep this this is like uh, works as a bait trap like a taco trap and what uh, you can do is you can put your bait in here fold it up like a taco and throw it in the trap works really good all right so once you do that you just have a you know a round the round cone basket like this you just snip down and that gives you this and what we're going to do is we're going to cut our cones for the uh, ends of the trap to go in to funnel the uh, crawfish in. all right so we're going to do a little more work and then um we get about two all right turn and it um, the next part, I did two of them, so I've got two baskets. One piece of metal makes two cones, so you're going to need two baskets, so you make two cones. And then um, with the other four, you uh, got to make an opening for the cone right here. So the cone's going to go in here, come in like this. Okay, so you got to make the opening. So what you do is just snip along and just make a uh, cross. I don't go, I only go to this uh, outer ring because um, I can make the cones that size with what I've got. Um, if you were going to do something else, you could uh, probably cut all the way to that ring, but I don't. I just cut to where it's ring double stuff. Okay, you got your X. You just uh, bend them in like this. And. Uh, so there you go. You got, I did another one. So there, that's what the trap is going to be. And um, all right, so that and part's you're off. Okay, so for this part to make cones, um, you use cardboard. And I used um, this is from a pizza that I <laughs> cooked in the microwave or I mean the oven. And um, it's about, it's a little bit longer than this. It matches up like that. And the, uh, hole needs to be about I don't know I think it's two inches by five inches about two inches by five inches so yeah. it'll give you a good size hole in the end so that it can get in but not out very well okay so once you get one of these about the same size as a circle with five inch by two inch you go and um, I'm so excited I'm like making my own video you know that okay my cameraman Luke over here he uh I said that for occasion. So you just uh, lay it down there, show, show this, show this, how you see it? All right, and then you just uh, cut out two of them. So you got to uh, do that, so one for each cone, and you can't quite get four out of it, I've tried, but anyways, I'll come back and I'll show you the uh, cones. All right. One, but yeah. You push it? What? Okay. Um, so to make the cones, you just take the circle and you just kind of fold it over, overlap it just a little bit, and it'll fit right in there. It goes from the other in the inside like this. But um, to start it off, I usually cut a piece of rope, and uh, this rope kind of frays, so I just take a barbecue lighter. Um, helps to keep the rope intact, or else it can quite a challenge so yeah go through the bottom one do the 
bottom ones. Tie yourself a knot to get your rope started. I just tie simple knots. Work. All right. And uh, then you just weave it through here. So take you enough, usually about a foot. But I'd like to have a little extra room. Take a foot, bring your rope, and you weave it through. Okay. Um, with this piece, we're gonna save this piece. This is gonna be the use. We're gonna use this for the doors to get in and out of the trap. So keep this aside. Um, you don't have to have wire. I like to use wire on the doors. Um, and you can do this all by hand, but I also use a couple other tools like this. Yeah. For when I weave the baskets together, it helps to use the rope. And I'll show how to do that. You yeah. Show me. yeah show me. Okay. And uh, also, you know, if you have some wire, you can. You could own, cut it. You make your own little circle. Yeah, and, and your own lock or the lock the door. Yeah. But um, you don't have to have wire, you can do it all with rope. I think the first ones I did were, were with rope. Yeah. But uh, make your little good. circle like this. A little tool helps a lot. Okay, I'm going to make some cones and I'll do a few more things and then I'll show you how to weave the basket together. Mm -hmm. Alright, turn me off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, once you've got your baskets made, uh, I just tie a knot, go back through, go back through, tie a knot, tie a knot on both ends. You know, there's two ways you can do it. Um, you know, however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter as long as you got to make them cones and they stay cones. And then um, what you want to do is move your cone in. So take your cone like this and um, place it in here. What I like to do is I like to get it where I want it, kind of, and then bend back these pieces along the sides like this. And it kind of keeps it in line so that when you... It's not working. Yeah, you gotta just kind of work it <laughs> a little bit. And once you do that, you go through with the yarn, and just like before, you just uh, weave through like this one. And once you're done weaving through, I just tie it right where, not where I started. And then I usually just cut off a little bit here, and uh, this will split. You see, it'll open up like that, and that's why I use the lighter, and just to keep everything nice and clean. I usually just kind of burn them together like that <laughs> and uh, so once you make two of them which you just got to weave them together like that just simply you know it doesn't matter you can go each one I just go through every couple it doesn't really matter to me but if you're ADD or whatever you want to call it you can do every one um, so the next the only part to do is to weave the basket cut the hole and put the door so I'm gonna finish this cone do a couple all my cones and I'll come back and I'll show you the next step on how to uh, finish the trap and make it into a basket trap all right um, you out hey right. come on out all right so the final part once you got your cones in um, it's time to assemble the basket with itself so I just start off just tie it together easy like that okay and then once you want to start it I use this one but you can use this metal piece I'll just use this metal thing to show you so what you do is take your metal piece so do that one to so go to the next one and you push it through pull it out and you uh, weave it through that one and then you just keep going through can, can they see that it's, oh go up go up so, yeah, you just push through this hole. It's hard to see on camera, I bet, but... And then you just, once you go through the next one up, put it through your loop, and then you pull out the rope, and you just keep weaving it along, okay? 
focus on it again. All right, so make yourself one of those. I use this one and uh, roll it down so you can see here. But just go through. I'll pull it out. Pull it a little bit. And I go to the next <laughs> string up. I go back through the end of the thing and then I pull the rope through. Okay, so now I usually do two or three and then I just pull it tight together. And uh, see like that. And you just go all the way around till you get back to here and you tie it off. And that's how your trap is. All right, so we'll come back and show you how to cut the door and the other part. So, and Okay, so once you got your basket weaved together, trap pretty much made, done. <laughs> You gotta make the door, okay? So you can get the bait yeah. in, crawfish out, bait out, all that. So I'm gonna go with. I like to have a pretty good sized door, so I'm gonna just kind of cruise along here, cut off this access piece here. Excess piece here. So, okay. Um, then I'm gonna cruise down and just cut it in half. So. All right. Like that. And then what I like to do is hold the edges over because these edges can be kind of sharp, kind of pointy. These points can kind of poke you. Poke, so you kind of got to be careful. Everything else is pretty much, you know, safe except for the bait boxes and uh, these doors. You got to kind of be careful or they'll poke you from being cut. Yeah. It's happened. So, fold it in, give yourself a nice little door, and uh, on Boom. the other ones, I use zip ties, and I, um, I put the trap door like this, but you can put it, you know, long ways if you want, like that, which I think that's what I'm going to do on this one. I think that would be a little easier. So you just mark out, and then don't cut where the overlap is, so just kind of mark it right there. Cut a few and just bend it, put it back like that, and I mark one, two, three, four, cut a four more, bend that in. So it's pretty good. And then I just think, see about where I'm gonna go. I think, alright, that'll work. So good trap. Yeah. Takes a little bit of time to make, but for yeah. three dollars and fifty cents for a trap, or three dollars and twenty-five cents. Well, yeah, I bet three dollars and fifty cents. You know, a couple of twenty-five cents. Yeah. Price. All you want to come in here, and About all you want. Three dollars, and you get a. I mean, it's a good-sized trap. It's like uh, take us a couple of days to build our own store. So, oh, you might. Oh, you don't. There we go. We got the hole, and. Uh, Cody, are we going to build our own place where we sell traps, or no? No, no, we're just going to show these people how to make them for now. No, we're not going to do it anyway. So you can make your own trap like this, like us. All right. Yeah. So on the other traps, I just put two zip ties here, and then I cut a piece of wire and just wired it shut. Yeah, what we I'm do. What do on this one is... So we really do. I'm going to use all the metal. You can use the rope to do this. You don't really have to have the metal ones. But I'm going to make them with metal ones. So, final step. Just kind of go near the corner. And uh, bend you a, a hook like this. And you just lay it on where you want it. And then hook you on. And then lock it. Yeah, yeah. i got to kind of make it thinner. It won't go through those holes. Okay, get it where you want it. Make sure it's good and where you want it. And then hook it. And then through here. And uh, hook it around. Just Where's the hook at? It's alright. However you want to do it. Zip ties are a lot easier. They work pretty good. They work better than this. And then, um, just cut them off and 
trap's done, so. I guess we'll go ahead and film it. Watch out there, cameraman. Don't get too close. I told him to see where was the hook at. It's hard to get. What the f I didn't fold that that side kind of cross pattern. This side I might be able to. Alright, film, film, show. Dang, I can't get him through there. That's alright. So we'll just go. Just fold it over. Let's show this one here. Like that. You just fold it over. So it'll bend. And then just take these snips. And they aren't the perfect tool for this, but. And then uh, your door opens and closes. Boom. Like that. So there's your trap. And uh, you can just kind of curve it. Usually I go the other way and you don't have to curve it, but on this side. And they can't get out, so I just take a little piece and uh, latch it closed. You use zip ties again, you can use the yarn, you don't have to use this, you can just tie yarn to it, and it works just fine like that. And uh, tie on a rope, throw in your bait, and then you're going crawfishing. And then we're done with the video. All right, thanks for watching.